Kontynuujemy grę w Free Minutes to Midnight. Ostatnio rozmawialiśmy z burmistrzem, która kazała nam naprawić antenę radiową. Następnie udaliśmy się do Lindy, w której zabrano torbę z narzędziami. I teraz ruszamy w dalszą drogę. Ją odzyskać. Pogadajemy teraz tutaj z klepikarką. Finally, someone came to talk to me. I've been dying for some chit chat. Okay. By the way, who are you? Lorraine, my dear. Nice to meet you, Lorraine. I'm Betty. Dobra, pogadajmy z nią na ten temat. Everyone in town seems to be having trouble with their memories. Oh, that's not possible. Everyone, you say. My memory is crystal clear. Do you know where your family is? Oh, of course I do. Don't be silly. My family is... Uh, they are... Hmm. No, dobra. What's the first thing you can recall? Tonight? Hmm. I've been here the whole time. And before that, do you remember anything? Well, of course I do, hun. Don't be silly. This morning, I... 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 See? You can't remember either. Do you remember your customers' names? Of course! You're Betty! Yeah, I just told you that a while ago. But do you remember the sheriff's name, for example? The sheriff? Uh, his name is, uh... Um... Dear, I think my memory isn't what it used to be. I don't think it's an age-related issue. There's something weird going on. Age-related? How old do you think I am? I don't know, between 70 and death? Really? That old? What did I do with my life? Ah, oh, so many missed opportunities. Yeah, you could have. Mogłabyś podróżować, to jest fajne. Traveled the world. Yes, I could have spent my early years traveling the world and the seven seas. And then, after witnessing everything Earth had to offer me, I'd become the first person ever to set foot in space. Wow, I was thinking more like a leisure cruise to the Canary Islands, but okay. No, dobra. Porozmawiamy z nią teraz o tym. Beautiful display you have here, Lorraine. Thank you. But there is one thing that makes me uneasy. Well, the fact that you don't sell cherimoyas is concerning. What is concerning is that you know what a cherimoya is. But anyway, it's not that. Haven't you noticed? The display is full of military crates. <gasps> You're right. Where do you think you got them? No idea. But the basement is full of them. Perhaps you should keep away from the basement until we know more of what's going on. Dobra, a czy możesz mi czymś pomóc? Hey, Lorraine, can you help me with something? Sure, hon. What seems to be the trouble? I'm looking for this big fella. Nice suit, angry face, carrying a toolbox. I saw that man just a while ago. He was talking with that barber over there. I'll come back when I have some fresh gossip. Please do. Dobra. Co my tu mamy? A może obejrzyjmy sobie reklamę. Folks, meet the new and improved Cloud Light Spongy Yellow Cakes. Twonkies! Now with 200% more sugar. Trust us, we've measured. I'm pretty sure I love Twonkies as much as the next person, but that one is going to be hard to chew. Dobra, udajmy się zatem do tego fryzjera. Before you say anything, Regatta, I don't know what got into me. Apology accepted. Who said anything about apologizing? Uh, I mean, your son of Frank Cooper. Nice meeting you, Frank. Can I ask you a few questions? Go ahead. Dobra, co my tu mamy? Zacznijmy od tego tematu. You wouldn't happen to live in a mansion, would ya? No, I'm sorry. 
I live in a tiny, humble shack. But I heard that a dangerous, ruthless man lives in the mansion up north. I would steer clear if I were you. But you aren't me, are ya? Don't say I didn't warn you. Dobra, kolejny temat. How about you make me one of those free wigs? Like a Cosa DJ. Make you a wig. What do you take me for? A barber? A Serenella Merida. I keep forgetting. Let's talk price then. Read your own sign, buddy. Free. <laughs> Frank Cooper doesn't even wish you buongiorno for free. Let me see that sign. No, so Damn, it's true. But it's a one-time only offer. How do I know you didn't already get one? You remember making me one? <sighs> What do you want it for? Uh... Chcę zaczepić ludzi w filmie. I want a tall beehive wig to bother people at the movies. Ah, I knew your type always did it intentionally. No to chcę być yy, drugą wersją siebie w szkole. I want to create a double of myself to replace me at school. I don't think the world's ready for two of you. No dobra, to może to. So I can make a disguise and ask you for another free wig. And another, and another. Good idea, but you shouldn't have blabbed your plan to me. Oh, fiddlesticks! You know what? I'll think of something. Tell me when you do. Dobra. Zapytajmy się o jego pamięć. Did you find out who popped your memory? No, non lafato, unfortunately. I've been quite busy getting to know myself. I've discovered some exciting stuff. Care to hear my story? Ooh, can't wait to hear it. I was born in Calabria in the 1910s. Mio padre and me and mama decided they couldn't provide for us working drought-stricken fields. So they took us to America, to Chicago. Here I learned English and... Do you remember your first words? Where's the money, Giuseppe? Strange first words. Anyway, you want me to continue, or you're planning to keep interrupting me? Sorry, go on. My partner and I met working in a barber shop back in Chicago. We became notorious for trimming beards and having fun while doing it. We were doing so well that it wasn't long before the word spread. And it spread fast. Soon, our reputation caught up with us and got us in trouble. So, we decided to show some initiative and establish our own business elsewhere. I also want to show some initiative to my mother. Any advice? I don't know your mother. Anything she needs help with? Well, she gave me the task of getting the generator back up and running. Well, doing what she asked you to do instead of wasting your time here would be a good start. Anyway, after the incident, we had to seek help from our friends in the government. So, long story short, that's how we ended up relocated here and started our new company, Rhino Co. Rhino Co? Are you the boss of the guy who stole my friend's toolbox? Rhino Co. is a very common name around these parts. You must be confusing him with someone else. No, raczej nie. Tell me more about your partner. When did he get into the toolbox collecting business? Marco? Collecting toolboxes? Nonsense. I know what I saw. It's a confusing night. A word from the wise regatta. Instead of throwing around wrongful accusations, perhaps you should direct your efforts towards paying what you owe. You'll pay for this. No, you will. Dobra, dalej, kolejne. I'm not stopping until I get my friend's toolbox back. Seriously, don't you have anything better to do? No właśnie, jesteś odpowiedzialnym biznesmenem. You're a reasonable businessman. Surely we can work out some sort of a deal. What are you offering? Uh... 
<laughs> I'll instruct you in the secret arts of Betty Foo. Hmm, that sounds interesting. Tell me, how do your art stack against a bullet in the head? Not very well, I guess. No, That's your mansion up there. Fancy digs for a barber. Cosmetology is a lucrative business. Right. How much do you charge for a haircut? No barber could afford a mansion like that. Keep your nose out of my business, Regatta. No, jasne, jak oddasz skrzynkę z narzędziami. Your henchman Marco stole my friend's toolbox, and we want it back. Marco is many things: a business partner, a bodyguard, a passionate lover, but he's no henchman. Add toolbox thief to that list. Owing money to the wrong people has deadly consequences. You girls better have learned the lesson. My friend's contract is abusive. That can't be legal. People never read before they sign. Oh, We can't be held accountable for dropping a little reminder here and there. Aha! You're admitting to extorting the townsfolk. Extortion? Nonsense! It's just protection service fees. Capiche? And if someone doesn't pay... Careful how you finish that sentence, Betty. You wouldn't want my razor to slip and give you a new haircut, would you? The joke's on you. My hair's drawn this way. I'll present a formal complaint to the Chamber of Commerce. They'll put a stop to your extortions. Oh, Nacho Marcello Estacione. He's supposed to be an old friend of ours. Tell him I send my regards. How come you remember there's a guy called Marcello at the Chamber of Commerce? Have you never heard of a thing called phone book? You seem to know more information than you could find in the phone book. See you later, Frank. Hey, one more thing before I leave. How did you find out all those things about yourself? I found certain records from the Fed... Eration of Baba's ink stored safely in my house. Czyli tak. E, powiedział dużo o swojej przeszłości, że uczył się angielskiego, o tym jak tu trafił, o swoim kumplu w biznesie. Naprawdę bardzo dużo wie rzeczy, jak na kogoś, kto ma niby amnezję. Bardzo ciekawe. Coś kryjesz, kolego. Zobaczmy może teraz te plakaty. Co my tu mamy? Mommy issues. An affliction far more common than one would think. Bella Lugosi. From vampiric nobility to a hairy monkey. How does one fall from such grace? Ciekawe, ciekawe, nie powiem. Dobra, idźmy na komisariat pogadać z szeryfem na temat kradzieży. What cheapskate bureaucrat put the post office inside the sheriff's department? A good way to ensure that your mail won't be stolen, I guess. Dobra, co my tu mamy? Zacznijmy może od paczki. A package from Iscariot Bros. Inc. addressed to a Father Jenkins. Hey, can I get that package? Young lady, I know it's a confusing night, but you still need a delivery notice to get the mail. Nie mogę jej sobie zabrać. No trudno. O! Ew! What's that smell? It's like someone didn't shower for a year or longer. Trafiliśmy do celi. A co my mamy w tej celi? Dobra, co jest na samym końcu tej celi? Oh god, that's disgusting. Please don't make me look at that again. Dobra, a może ją obejrzymy? Eww, what's that in the toilet? It's everywhere! Ja nie chcę wiedzieć, co tam jest. Na pewno coś niefajnego. Coś obrzydliwego. A tu co mamy? Are you okay? Wake up! Why are you still sleeping? Come on! Wake up already! I wonder what he's in for. Skipping too many showers? 
ciekawe oskarżenie. Na pewno właśnie dlatego to trafił. Czekaj, co tu mamy? MacGyver Guide. Paper clips and bubblegum. MacGyver's Guide to fixing it all. Paper clips and bubblegum. MacGyver's Guide to fixing it all. Ciekawe. Nawiązanie do MacGyvera. Courageous, resilient, tenacious, indomitable, and a shining beacon of community service. The United Brotherhood of Carpenters bestows this commemorative plaque to the Sheriff's Office Chair for its hundred years of active duty. Czyli mamy tutaj kogoś, kto naprawdę się zna na robocie. Dobra, co mamy tutaj dalej? Eee... One bullet at a time. A guide to sheriffing in the 20th century. Fantastic donuts and where to find them. Ciekawe. Huh. I'm not touching anything in the sheriff's office. Czyli nie dotykamy nic. Dobra. Pogadajmy. Hey Ben! Oh hey there, Betty. Don't you have places to be, things to do? Maybe. But since I don't remember, I'm gonna stick around. You know, keeping an eye on the sheriff. Ben, you have the right to remain silent. Please use it. No, dobra. Co się stało z naszą pamięcią w ogóle? What do you think happened to our memories? If you ask my opinion, I would say witchcraft. This doesn't look like witchcraft to me, Ben. Witches are not. You must agree that the sheriff's level of incompetence is supernatural. <laughs> supernatural. <laughs> ben, don't force me to detain you. Detain me? I ain't even moving. <sighs> anyway, I suggest we keep an eye out. We don't want them witches eating our brains. Those are zombies, Ben. Oh, sweet Jesus! Zombies too? Dobra, kolejne, co teraz mamy? Hey, uh, Ben, <laughs> hate to break it to you, but I'm pretty sure you've only been in the hospital once. And that was the day you were born. You couldn't be wrong. I really feel pretty literate. I'm sure I have some kind of a PhD. Oh, no, yes, PhD. judging by your fragrance, a PhD in hydrocarbons. Hydro what? <laughs> Wanna gossip about the sheriff? Sure thing. The chair has a merit award plaque. It's an honor to stand in front of such a distinguished piece of furniture. <laughs> <laughs> You'd rather show respect to a chair than the sheriff? You bet your ass I would. So, talk to you later. Whenever you want, if you're not a commie. Nie, nie. Na pewno nie jestem nim. Co tu mamy? Na listę. It's a list of cops fallen in the line of duty. McLean, John. John McClane. Connor, Sarah. Sarah Connor. Mm -hmm. Ripley, Ellen. Bond, James. Niezłe nawiązanie. Pliskin, Snake. Jakie jeszcze są? Rambo, John. John Rambo, oczywiście. Hunt, Ethan. Ethan Hunt. Nie kojarzę. Kiddo, Beatrix. Coś jeszcze? Born, Jason. Jason Bourne, tożsamość Borna, oczywiście. Croft, Lara. Tak, Lara Croft. Williams, Ash. Co jeszcze? Riggs, Martin. Riggs, Martin. Wick, John. Tak, John Wick. Castle, Frank. Burton, Jack. Co jeszcze? Everdeen, Katniss. Ilu ich tam jest? Spartan, John. Imperator, Furiosa. Organa, Leia. Dobra, zobaczmy Dallas, wszystkie nazwiska. Leland. Wiem, że tego jest dużo, ale jestem ciekawy. Starling, Clarice. Co tam jeszcze jest? Dutch, Allen. Hooks, Laverne. Hart, Gracie. Cole, Lorna. Solo, Han. Tak, Solo, Han. Turner, Megan. Donahy, Amelia. Lewis, Anne. Matrix, John. John Callahan, Matrix. Harry. 
Martin, Nieźle. Frank. Rokotansky, Max. Max Rokotansky, też Mills, znam. Brian. Gunderson, Marge. Chan, Kwok Wing. Kwok Wing. Drebin, Frank. Kilgore, Bill. Shaft, John. Wallace, William. Ryback, Casey. Casey Ryback, oczywiście Liberator musi Finch, być. Finch, Atticus. Chelios, Chev. Lowry, Mike. Burnett, Marcus. Marcus Burnett. Restrepo, Catalea. Walker, Cordell. This can't be right. The list's over. One minute of silence for our fallen comrades. No sporo ich. Jest bardzo dużo. Dobra, co tu mamy? Eee, może obejrzymy sobie tutaj to. Ojej. Teraz, eee... co tu mamy? O, właśnie, to. Money laundering, drugs, murder, kidnapping, communist espionage and... and chipmunks. No trochę tego tu jest. Dobra, pogadajmy z szeryfem w końcu, bo... Bo nigdy z nim nie pogadamy. How's the night going, Citizen Coltrane? Good evening, Citizen Biddy. Dobra, pogadajmy z nim. Does the name Rhino Co ring a bell to you? Rhino Co? Never heard of it. At least not that I remember. Any idea what they might be involved in? One thing's for sure, Betty. It's not an ostrich farm. Nothing gets past this guy. Dobra. Właśnie, o tej posiadłości. Co ty na ten temat wiesz? Have you heard anything about the mansion? You mean the mansion owned by Frank Cooper, the barber? Phew! How much does that guy charge for a haircut to afford that place? Well, maybe it's because he's the only barber in town? Or maybe it's because we're all werewolves and he makes a killing on the nights of the full moon like tonight. Hmm. If we were all werewolves, that would explain the memory loss. <laughs> we cracked the case, Sheriff. Indeed we did, Ben. Guys, the full moon is out. Wouldn't we all have turned by now? Oh, I told you, Faco. That's the stupidest idea I've ever heard. Wasn't it your idea? What side are you on? Yes, Betty, whose side are you on? What? How? When did this turn on me? Dobra. Pogadajmy o tym przestępstwie. I need to report a crime. Oh lord, what happened now? Murder? Kidnapping? Chipmunks? No, none of the... Wait, chipmunks? Anyway, how am I supposed to know the name of the crime? You're the expert here. I wouldn't be so sure about that. Shut up, Ben! Betty, tell me more. We were at the junkyard and- Who's we? I said shut up. Uh, hold on. Who is we? My friend and I. Well, technically it was only my friend Linda who got robbed. What did they take? Eee, no, zabrali... Skrzynkę z narzędziami. My friend's toolbox. Toolbox? Sorry, Betty. I've got more important things to worry about right now. Aha. Uh -huh. What's up, dude? Mr. Coltrane, I'm serious. I need your help recovering that toolbox. Betty, I already told you. I have bigger fish to fry. Here we all are, looking for our memories, and this hack is grilling carps. Will you please just listen? That Marco guy's a real threat. He literally pulled a gun on Linda. You keep saying you're the sheriff. Then prove it. Hold on. He pulled a gun? Are you positive on that? Uh, yes! Betty, if you're dealing with actual criminals, things could get very dangerous for you. Yeah, here's the thing. I really need the toolbox back. So, save us time and just tell me what to do. <sighs> These guys always have slick lawyers, so we have to do it by the book. We already have two witnesses, you and your friend. So, if you can provide me with strong evidence, then maybe I can perform a quick arrest and search their house. What sort of evidence do you need? No. The incriminatory kind. Well, aren't you a genius? But, actually, Ben's right. 
First, we need proof that your stolen goods are in the suspect's possession. And second, find out any information we could use against them in a trial. Clear? Um... Great. I'll be here if you need me. Thank, Thank you, you, Sheriff. Sheriff. Czyli tak, musimy dowiedzieć, że on ukradł tą skrzynkę z narzędziami. To po pierwsze. No i po drugie, coś się więcej o nim dowiedzieć. Za chwilę sobie to zapiszemy. Posłuchamy jeszcze raz tej kwestii. Sheriff, you should check out that stench. Hey, don't look at me. It's the fellow downstairs. I can't deal with him right now. Besides, he's fine. If a bit stinky. Shouldn't you at least let him shower? I'll worry about his hygiene after the townwide emergency is over. You should rush down there. He might be dead. If he's dead, where's the emergency? Dobra. It seems you can't get rid of your new friend. Tell, Tell me about it. it. You're reading each other's minds. Oh, that's so cute, you two. Hey. Anything he can do, I can do better. I haven't seen you do anything other than stand here and complain. I mean, I'm even better at that than you are. This is going to be a long night. Indeed. Dobra, to je teraz tak. Panowie. Słuchajcie, co robimy? No ja sobie to muszę zapisać. What sort of evidence did we need again? First, we need proof that your stolen goods are in the suspect's possession. And second, find out any information we could use against them in a trial. Czyli tak, musimy udowodnić, że rzeczy są w posiadaniu Marka. I kolejną rzecz. What sort of evidence? First, we and second, find out any information we could use against Aha, znaleźć informacje, które możemy użyć przeciwko niemu. Dobra. Już sobie tu zapisałem to. To do roboty. That's all for now, Sheriff. Good night, Betty. Oczywiście w cudzysłowie, tak, tak. No to co, mamy już... Jasność. No to co? Ile mamy w ogóle minut odcinka? Na chwilę muszę zobaczyć. No to jeszcze chwilę możemy pograć. Ruszajmy na północ. Zobaczymy co to jest. O proszę. Obejrzyjmy rzecz co tutaj mamy. Zacznijmy od... Motor... Motocykla. Now this is a queen among motorcycles. Yup, you definitely can't beat a Corley. I'm going to play this. Being caught hot wiring this beauty is a one way ticket to hell. One way ticket to hell. Shit. Messing with public property? Been there, done that. Mm hmm. Znam grę. Fajna przygodówka. Polecam. That's a long train. It's never ending. Like someone really doesn't want me to cross those train tracks right now. So There's dalej. no way I can operate that by hand. Dobra. Co się zdalej jeszcze zobaczmy? Ciekawości. O jest. Dobra. A tu będzie biuro szeryfa, tak? Znaczy biuro szeryfa. Miejsce ratusz tutaj jest w sensie. Ok, dobra. Czyli tak, e, wiemy mniej więcej już gdzie się poruszać. Tutaj będzie pra zgoduje posiadać, prawda? Tak. I tu mamy Marka. Ale z nim pogadamy następnym razem. Także komentujcie i dajcie znać co myślicie.